The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers, fuel for our future, and by the Southeast United Dairy Industry Association, dedicated to dairy, our cows, our milk, our land. Earlier in the program, we told you how farmers are busy planting Louisiana's number one row crop, sugarcane. But did you know that sweet commodity has plenty of uses outside the kitchen? Kristen Oaks now joins us with this week's Ag Minute. And Kristen, when I saw this story in the lineup, I said, she's got to be reaching on this one. Surprise me. It is. You know, it's actually surprising all the different uses for such a simple commodity. And your everyday table sugar has become the jack of all trades when it comes to do-it-yourself home remedies around the house. Whether for health or beauty, in the kitchen or in the garden, here are five different ways you can put this versatile commodity to work. Have you ever taken a quick gulp of hot coffee? Well, next time, just reach for the sugar bowl. Simply chew on half a teaspoon of sugar and that will soothe your stinging tongue. And what about your laundry? Say goodbye to stubborn grass stains with the help of sugar. Apply a paste of table sugar and warm water to grass stained clothes. Allow the mixture to soak into the fabric and voila, the stain is gone. You can extend the life of fresh flowers by adding three teaspoons of sugar and two tablespoons of vinegar to the water. The sugar feeds the stems while the vinegar prevents the growth of bacteria. Sugar can even help your garden. If you suspect your plants are suffering a nematode worm invasion, apply sugar to the soil. Want to keep your lipstick on longer? Sprinkle a bit of sugar on top of freshly applied lipstick, let it sit for a minute, then lick it off. The sugar helps to set the lip color and extends the life of your favorite lipstick. So there you have it. Five reasons to keep this sweet superfood always in stock. To find out even more smart and inventive uses for sugar, visit our website at twilatv.org. Now moving on to this week's Twilight Trivia. Last time our question was, what was the first recorded snow cone flavor? And as unappealing as it may sound, egg custard was actually one of the very first snow cone flavors. For this week's trivia, which fruit contains the highest amount of sugar? Is it A, grapes, B, strawberries, or C, bananas? To enter this week's trivia contest, all you need to do is visit our website, twilatv.org, choose the correct answer, and we'll send one winner a Twyla prize pack, including a copy of Holly Clegg's newest cookbook, Eating Well to Fight Arthritis, and I'd be willing to bet that there's not a whole lot of sugar recipes in here. No, and hopefully there's not any egg custard recipes in there either. Thank goodness somebody came up with strawberry toppings for snow cones. Kristen Oaks, thanks.